Hello everyone and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today is going to be a primitive video. I'm going to be talking about three team comps that I like to use, where they work, reader play friendly options, and replacements. I'm going to start by just talking about the three team comps I'm going to talk about. First of all is going to be a double animo comp. It's a double animo comp, plain and simple. It'll, it'll be about running two animo units. Have one in my case, Xiao, as your main DPS, and another one, in my case, Jean, as your battery, to basically provide particles to your main DPS so they can burst more often, and to give them the stamina things to shorten their skill CDs, so it's more about getting skills off and bursts off. This works really well with Xiao, as his... He doesn't have the greatest elemental energy recharge thing going on for him. And so, it really helps him have an animo battery, fix more animo particles for him, and shortening his CD means he can just do more damage, because his his dash does a billion damage, I swear. But mine uses Beidou and Diona, so if I am fighting something that's, you know, if it just so happens that I wasn't paying attention again to a fight with something that's strong against Animo, I have Superconduct. And Beidou is a very powerful sub dp They're also both there to instigate Swirl in their own ways. Beidou, because she pops her ult, and then your normal basic attacks will trigger Electro and stuff, and then you can Swirl with Zhao or Jean. Diona because she applies cryo and the giant cryo field, which then triggers swirl with Zhao or Jean. That's just the basics of this. I'm going to go in much more detail later. Next team comp, Pyro Resonance. Now you might... Now I'm, I'm going to stop you right here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Deluke and Venti in the same team comp. Holy crap, you're so meta, it hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. The team comp's stupid good. Actually not even about the double Pyro here. It's about Jinkyu. It's about the fact that this is actually a vaporized team comp. GQ is the most important ingredient. Now, there's going to be a new event coming out soon. You get to choose a character from Liyue, and GQ is on that list. If you don't have him, I highly recommend you get him. I'm just starting that right here. If you have any pyro characters and you want a, py and you want a vaporized team comp, bring GQ. He's dumb. Hell, he works in the double animo team comp for triggering more swirl reactions. But he works best as Vaporize because he just applies so much Hydro with his burst. Next team we're going to talk about, though, and the final team, is going to be, as you can tell, a very work in progress for me, but I have the idea down for how it's going to be played. It's going to be a Geo Supremacy team, where it is all about double Geo. Increase shield strength. We'll get damage dealt. Damage to enemies will decrease their Geo res. So, in other words, these two together... Any two Geo together, really. Although I highly recommend Ning Guang as your main Geo DPS. Not the character to keep in mind for the new event coming out. But just these two together is... Let, let's, let's go back and let, let's start fresh. So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about a double animo comp. Now, Zhao is the main DPS here. And you're like, well, Zhao's a stupid main DPS. Well, yes. But he doesn't have to be your main DPS. So let's open this up here. Let's sort them by... Can I, can I sort them differently? Can I, can I filter them by elements? Here we go. Animo. I guess these two are just included because they still on my team. So the point of this team comp is just to set up a Animo as your main DPS and have an Animo battery as a secondary and the double Animo element to decrease your skills cooldown. These two units here hardly matter. Like, for my team comp, you can bring out Jing Qiu as one of the supportive units. You can bring out uh, Bennett. You can pull out Xiong Yun if you have him. Fischl is amazing because she applies Electro to everything, making for just a billion swirl reactions. Same for Xiong Ling and Amber. Uh, Kaya's ult is amazing at this too. Uh, Xinyan, not so much. She's more of a physical buffer, but she can do it too. But the whole idea is all about making it so that your animo units are front and center doing big things. Now this works with any of them as your main DPS. Literally any of them. Any of these animo units that I have here can work as the main DPS with this team comp. I promise you, it will work. Big thing is that Zhao's not going to be a great support for it because he doesn't do what the support needs to do. And... Jean has a slightly harder time being the main DPS than support, in my opinion. But if you set up around her properly and know how to build up for her, she can work really well. 
Venti and Sucrose are both wonderful options for your battery. And main DPS, technically speaking. Because their elemental bursts will just hit like a truck. Big thing that you gotta keep in mind, though, is for your main DPS, you probably want something more like a Gladiator's Viridescent Venerer two-piece combo to just boost their attack so that you can have them out and dealing damage. And your support probably wants the four-piece Venerer set to make them deal more swirl damage and decrease their res to the other elements that you have that are causing your swirl. In my instance, it's Electro and Cryo. The whole thing is to set up Xiao. For, for me, personally, for my team. It's all about setting up Xiao. Let's go murder a random lady. Show you what. This is all live, by the way, so. This is all going to take a minute, and that's totally okay. Let's go murder this random Layla. Show you what this team comp is all about. Like I said, the idea is all about setting up Xiao as your main TPS. In fact, I'm gonna kill these hilly turtles along the way. So, Jow's thing. You'll go in with him. Bam, bam, bam. If things aren't already dead, like me, you then can swap off to a different person and, whoop, and create more particles for him. Moment. He's okay. And so, because everyone's low, Jean's gonna heal up. Jow is going to trigger some more particles here. Because they're lighting the grass on fire and making themselves be pyroed, I don't have to use another unit to cause the swirl. I can just go in and attack. That's something that you can keep in mind as you're trying to do these. And now I'm like, oh, wait, nope, these guys no longer have the element triggered on them, so now I can swap off to someone who's going to apply the element and then hit them with Zhao's abilities to cause more swirl. And if Zhao needs some more ulti energy, I can swap the gene, cause the swirl, and make their elemental resistances go down. I can swap back and hit them hard. The whole thing is all about setting up your main Animo DPS unit so they hit like an absolute truck, though. Absolute great train. Just driving through. It, it's really obvious how it worked with Zhao, but I promise you this will work with Sucrose, this will work with Venti, this will work... Any of them can be set up to be the main DPS in this team. It just works a little differently in how you're going to play it based on who you have as your main DPS. But this one is just centered around Zhao. Like I said, Beto and Diona, they're swappable with any unit that causes good elemental reactions. Let's pull up just the unit list here that I have. Like I said, Beto is honestly not the best unless you have her burst up, her ulti, so that you're triggering Electro on your autos. Diona's stuff takes forever to cool down, but it's still great because the cryo field will just sit there forever and just cause you free swirls. The only thing you can't really bring is Geo units. Like, any of these Geo units won't really work because they don't trigger elemental reactions. Okay, that's the Animo team comp. As you can see, very powerful, works very well, all about enabling one person. Let's talk about Vapor. Okay, this is going to be all about the Vaporized team comp. I hear the people now, Felt, 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 you're using Deluke. Deluke is always going to be good. <laughs> this works with anyone. Won't you even... I'll show you how it works so well with Deluke to start, and then I'll swap off to other ones in the future. I won't actually swap off because I'm not gonna do I'll show I'll I'll explain how in the future. Big thing? Okay, you triggered the you triggered it, bam, you hit your vapor. Anytime you need healing, you use Bennett. And he's great here for just swirling and grouping and just creating more particles. But here comes the big hit. Jingyu has their ult, they pop it, you swap to your pyro DPS, pop their big damage abilities, and now you are just constantly triggering vapor. Just over and over and over and over. Vaporize, 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 vaporize. It's hitting like an absolute great trick. Rolling through enemies like they're not even they Don't exist. I could sh I'm gonna show you on this guy too, let's do it. Look at this nerd. Look at this nerd, he's over here just waiting to be bullied. You fuck up. You draw him, and then you swap, and you vaporize. Because of that, you're now going to be dealing even more damage with your main DPS. Quite a bit. Only problem I have with Jin Q is that I, you really need to build it. Eat this man. Is strange. I have a Favonius sword on Jin Q, so anytime I crit with him, I can generate extra particles of energy. So, like, I will. If I'm not trying to trigger the Hydro. 
I will often just be running around offering on Jinkyu to try and get his burst up. I'm just trying to trigger that so that. See? Now, because of that, I can now just trigger vaporize after vaporize after vaporize. It's like the whole purpose of this combo is just trigger vaporize. Vaporize after vaporize and just go to town. Now. That's how the comp functions in game. I'm going to go over two very important things. Number one, your pyro DPS should be running a four piece Crimson Witch of Flames set. You will increase burning damage by 40%, you will increase your vaporize and melt by 15%. And the ele using elemental skills increase the two seat two piece set bonus by 50% of its starting value. This, the pyro damage. So you're getting like an extra 7%. And then another 7%, and then another 7%, adding up to like 30% pyro damage bonus. I don't know the actual math, but that's what I'm assuming it is. I'm assuming it its total gets doubled by the end. It's actually probably more than doubled, because it's three stacks of one half of its potency. So it's like 37% total pyro damage at the end, I'm pretty sure. But that's as you're using your elemental skill, which works wonderfully with Deluke, as he has a three-piece hit combo, all buffing him up, which... Now, the reason that I personally run Bennett is for the Pyro Resonance, so that I have just more base damage. Binti is here as a Venerer bot to swirl and decrease their res, so I'll throw out Venti's element ability. They'll get swirled up, and I'll either hit them with the Hydro to just make it so that I get free Vaporize procs, or I'll hit them with the Pyro to make sure that they're taking more damage from Pyro. One way or the other. It goes both directions now. This is like a perfect version of the comp, in my opinion. This is like the strongest version that exists, but let me show you something. Let's say you don't have Deluke and you don't have Venti. Let's talk let's let's see what 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 characters out there can be fit into the team comp. Well, the main pyro DPS, you have units like Jing Jiang Ling and Amber. Actually, this is probably the bad screen. Let me, uh, let me pull up the other screen. Let me go to this one. Here. I forgot this screen exists sometimes because it's pretty recent. So the big thing is that you have one pyro main and pyro sub DP support. Jiang Ling, actually amazing support. You might not believe me, I'm Ling's an amazing pyro support here. Like, look at her talents. Oba throws it out, giant AoE pyro damage, constantly dealing pyro. Pyronado, giant spinning fire damage all around people. And you get stuff like this where you can to increase your attack. You have stuff like this which increases the flame range of Goba, and those are just for leveling up, by the way. But the important part is that no matter what pyro unit you're using as your main, no matter what they're doing, that you need to be running the Crimson Witch 4-piece and having a Hydro to trigger Vaporize. Now, like I said, I'm talking about this as Jinkyu as the, as the helper here. There's technically another way you can run this comp by replacing the Hydro person with a Cryo person. Because Melt does the same thing based on the Crimson Witch 4 Like, I mean, I, I read it out. Vaporize and Melt damage. Either one of those are good. This also works wonderfully if you have like a Ganyu, for example. I'm not, I didn't pull on Ganyu's banner, and I know lots of people love her, and I know she's a five star, but I know lots of people have her, so I'm bringing her up. Great if you have someone like a Ganyu, Diona can do it pretty well because she throws out a Cryo field. Chung Yun can add Cryo to your attacks. If for those of you who don't know, Chung Yun here, when he throws down his his ability, it makes everyone's auto attacks do Cryo. If you're not using Deluke, whose attacks get forced into Pyro via his Dawn here, you can use someone like Jiang Ling, who just has a Pyro Tornado swirling about her and throwing down her Goba. And those will be triggering all the melts around you. And I really like having an Animo unit on the team. If I don't use Venti, I use Sucrose. These are, these are all, I'm trying to show off the four star options here for these team comps, because they group up the people, and they can use the Viridescent Venomer 4-piece to weaken their resistance to Pyro, or the element that you're trying to trigger, like Hydro for Vaporize, or Cryo for Melt. That is the Pyro team comp. So, next team comp. 
Let's talk about the final one here now. It's nowhere near finished for me, but it is the Geo Supremacy. It is all about setting up main <laughs> DPS on Geo. It is all about, for this team comp in particular, it's all about Ning. Albedo is here to trigger that, and then because of his feel doing what it does, you're triggering bonus attacks and bonus Geo damage. Because of the way his field works, I'm double triggering stuff over and over. And if you're still wanting to trigger elemental reactions, because that's the type of build you're running, use someone official who just has an auto attacking bird that applies electro constantly. Like Zhang Ling, who a Gova or throw out her pyronado to swirl around you to trigger the elemental reactions. The Geo Team comp is a little more straightforward, in my opinion, because it's literally just two Geo units. It's just two Geo units set up as your main, as your main, and then your support. For your main DPS, there are honestly quite a few options. Uh, one big option that I don't have at the moment is Zhang Li, though I've heard that he is a much better support than main DPS at the moment, but that's fine. Use him as a support or main DPS depending on how your team comp works. And honestly, one of the best supports that I personally feel like can be kind of slept on, at least in my opinion, is Geo MC. The main character on Geo Element is an amazing Geo. They trigger a crap ton of Geo stuff by throwing down these Geo constructs, which deal a ton of Geo damage and crystallize. And they also have this giant Geo AoE. That deals geo damage and buffs your damage inside of it. Leave in here somewhere. Mentioned that Wake of Earth buffs you somehow. Is that a constellation bonus? Barrier created by Wake of Earth lasts longer. Increases the Starfell Sword. Shock Shockwave regenerates geo energy. Amazing. Yeah, there it is. Party members within Wake of Earth have their crit rate increased. Increased resistance against interruption, meaning that you jump in, you throw out Wake of Earth, great bonus damage, massive geo damage, massive geo particle intake. Top of that, getting more insanely good geo support. Also, this is nice. Bonus normal attacks trigger geo damage. Like yes, please. Amazing geo support. Ning, not a great geo support. Mostly a main DPS for the geo teams. If you need a Geo DPS and you have Geo MC, get Ning in the next event. She's incredible. Star Shatter hits for like a billion damage. Super easy to build if you are someone who goes for the battle pass. The Solar Pearl is by far one of her best weapons. Normal attacks increase her skill and burst damage. And the skill or burst increase her normal attack. And she's all about swapping back and forth. Throwing down screens, auto attacking, throwing out ults, auto attacking, just back and forth between all her abilities. My boy Beto here. Wait a minute. Albedo. That joke sucked, I know. Is a great support and main DPS. But I, I see him as a really good support. As he throws out these, and then... It's a really long thing. It's a really, really, really long thing. But the bottom idea is, while you're attacking inside of his Solar Isotoma, you're dealing Geo damage. And you get bonus Geo React. His ult, massive Geo damage. Triggers a bunch of parts. This also helps him trigger particles. I do believe that this increases... Yeah, it increases your elemental mastery, so you do even more damage. And this... In the, the, the transient blossoms generated by this deal 25% more damage to opponents whose HP is below 50%, so he's just helping himself out there. I find it to be a really nice support, less so of a main DPS, but that's kind of my opinion. I, I just feel like his kit is very suited towards making a crap ton of geo particles through all of these things here. And all about just boosting up whoever your main DPS will be. But he can work as a main DPS because his ult will, um... This is a level 1 ult, by the way. Level 1 is 367 burst damage. It hits, like, tank. And here's the thing, though. Even if you don't have Albedo, even if you don't have Ningguang, if you want to do this Geo Team comp and you've played since the beginning of the game, you have the Geo team comp. You have the Geo main character. You have Noel. Just about everyone I know has Noel 
as a uh, as a free as a as one of their free characters because when you first started playing, there was the banner that guaranteed Noel. They might be like, "Well, she's a good su she's a support. What are you talking about? She's a great support." However, that doesn't mean that this right here isn't stupid strong. It's a big old burst damage, which deals big hits, and then it turns her attacks to geo damage. Also. Increasing her cooldown, so she can just stay out and attack 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 and attack. And, attack. and if you have character buffing them up with Wake of Earth, or using Starfell Sword to create more burst, they can constantly be inside this ult. Like, and here's the crazy thing. Those are just the main DPSs. And like I said, Gungly, he exists. Let's go to the character archive so I can kind of look at him. He exists, he does his thing. This is a giant thing that like petrifies everything and does massive geo damage. These exist and give him a stone shield and deal constant AoE geo damage. Supposedly he's a great support. If you have him, use him. Best support. He could pair very well with uh, Ningguang. Those two could pair very well together. But I don't have him, so I don't Because I, I don't know personally how it works. But the thing is, if you, even if you don't just want to do tons of geo damage, which in and of itself is great, because it reactions off of everything, your final two slots can literally be whatever the heck you want. I personally like the idea of having official here, who's just constantly triggering all sorts of reactions. Right now, they're just triggering superconduct constantly on this guy, so I don't even have to think. I'm just dealing the superconducts and then crystallizes because of it. I have also, if I really wanted to, I could just pull my Zhang Ling and just throw out the Goba and then just boom! And once she gets her ult, you throw out the Pyronator, it's spinning around you. You run in, you drop your wall, you run through it, and you're hitting people, and then you pop your ult, and it goes to town, triggering a billion crystallizes. Like, there's tons of great options for sub DPSs on the way here. Just about any of them will work out just fine. In fact, we can show it off right now using this. Okay, cool. This will actually be a difficult one. Oh no! Let's see if we can actually do it. My team count is not ready for that smile. Whole point though, right? This is also a no healer competent, by the way. Meaning that if I take damage, I took damage, that's it. But I mean... Look at how much damage this is doing. The only one that's currently geared up and leveled is my Ning. She's the only one. Only one. My main DPS is the only thing that's getting leveled. I have no healer. I have not actually been going through any problems at all. Look at all this just geo damage, just coming out and crazy. All those crystallized reactions, because all I did was throw out ult. I started half health on my Ning. Went through the whole fight against double freaking Oyos there. I forgot what they're called. Ruin guards? Yeah, ruin guards. Double Ruin Guards. She came out still alive. Albedo's totally fine. Jungling, totally fine. The only one that actually died was my official, and that's because I popped her ulti, and she doesn't have enough HP to survive inside of it at the moment, but that's entirely my fault. Yeah, those are the squads. Those are the three squads that I like and I think are really powerful and have great free-to-play options. So, what should you take away from this? If you have Deluca as a main DPS and you don't have Jin Q, Grab him in the event coming up soon. If you have Zhao... Well, I don't think any of the new characters from Liyue are actually going to make a difference to your squad. Just try and grab one of the Mondstadt helpies, helpers. If, you, if you're running, trying to run a Geocomp and you don't have Ning, grab her in this new event. She will be amazing. If you want a solid support for any of the squads... Right here. I forgot her name. It's going to be very embarrassing. Zinyan. Buffs everyone to death. Especially if you can get some constellations on. Including this, which guaranteed forms a level 3 shield for you. Which, and for those of you who don't know how the level 3 works for her, it, res it absorbs 180% of her defense, plus another bonus stat, and applies a giant dot around her, which is Pyro! Which means that she works in any of the team comps, because she's just about triggering that Pyro with her 
this giant AoE skill damage, which is mostly physical, but does a pyro dot as well. Another great support. You just need a support and you have the rest of the units for the team comps. Either way, I hope this was a useful video. I'll try and update when I talked about each group in the description below, but no promises. So that you can just like jump through the video and be like, okay, I want a double animo team comp, jump to this point. Double geo team comp, jump to this point. I want a pyro vaporize melt team comp, jump to this point. I'll do my best, but no promises. Either way, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I hope you watch more videos of mine. Hope you sub, hope you like, hope you comment, hope you follow, all that cool stuff. See you in the next one. Bye bye now.